How to Live to 120 Years Old? Starve Yourself. A new book explains it. Informed, not inflamed. Healthcare. And hi, everyone. John Daly here. I have a book review for you here on Informed, Not Inflamed. The book is called Lifespan. Why We Age and Why We Don't Have to. The author is David Sinclair. He is a professor of genetics at Harvard. He's also 50 years old, and he looks like he's in his 20s. Now, this book has the potential to be a life changer for many people. It could also be a trendsetter for the next few decades. Now, Sinclair believes most people could live to well over 100 years old to even 120 years old, and possibly later this century, people could actually reach 150 years old. But would we be living healthy, productive lives? Yes. We wouldn't be comatose blobs sitting on a sofa or on a bed or unaware of what's going on. Sinclair uses decades of research to show how fasting, intermittent fasting, and starving yourself at times actually helps the longevity of your life. I know, sounds weird, right? But he says research shows reducing food intake forces your body to toughen up and be resilient. Now, he gets a little scientific, so some of you may get lost in it at moments. I admit I did, too. Although he does not recommend anything because he wants to maintain his position as a researcher, he does tell you what he does. So for a diet, he has no carbs and no sugar. He has reduced his meat intake, but he eats a lot of fruits, vegetables, and legumes. He mentions about having some spoonfuls of yogurt in the morning as well. He also mentions a number of supplements that he takes. You can easily find them by Googling him online. Again, his name is David Sinclair. Now, in checking out the supplements, I noticed some of them were a bit expensive. However, your food intake should reduce your grocery bill as well, so it may even out. He also talks about exercise. He says as you get older, you should be doing shorter exercise routines like 15 minutes at a time, but with quick, strenuous bursts like running or interval training. Now, my wife, Terry, who is daily workout, and she's also one of the top trainers around, she's been following a lot of these ideas even before this book came out with her clients, and she's seeing great results even with people in their 70s. Now, on a larger scale, if Sinclair is right and people follow what he says, this is a very optimistic future. Think about the baby boomers who are causing a lot of government debt with Medicare. This would definitely reduce those medical costs. It would also allow many baby boomers to find new careers and work for another 20 to 30 years. This could also reduce food shortages since we don't need to eat as much. Now, again, the book is called Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have to. It's by David Sinclair. I really urge you to go pick it up. I think this could be a game changer, a life changer, a trendsetter. Let me know what you think. That's Informed, Not Inflamed. Make sure to follow me on my sites. On Twitter, it's at John Daily News. And on Facebook, it is Informed, Not Inflamed. Talk to you next time. For more on John Daly, go to informednotinflamed.com.